Tommy Lapuma, and you're watching Akeem Ia Jazz. Well, first of all, this is one of the best, if not one of the greatest festivals of the summer. And, uh, uh, and Andre Menard is such a wonderful individual, great taste. He just, in my estimation, yeah, I, I wouldn't even say other than, along with Montreux probably, you know, one of the best. And uh, of course, getting an award, Bruce Longball, where Bruce is a very close friend. And that's got Bruce's name to it, attached to it. It's, uh, it's just, it, you know, it's okay in my book. So it's an honor. It goes back so far, I mean, I was a kid. You know, I was probably six, seven years old, and I, probably somewhere around seven or eight, I found an R&B station that played Nat Cole and Charles Brown and Louis Jordan, and I got introduced to the music in that manner, and then of course, you know, as I grew, uh, when I became a musician when I was about 13 or 14, started playing professionally when I was about 16 or 17, and of course I was, every day uh, I would learn about someone new who I hadn't heard. Tatum, Ben Webster, all of the greats. I grew up with all of them. You know, I, I, I consider myself so fortunate because I was born at what I consider to be just the, the right time. In fact, to the point where even when it came to pop music, I, uh, you know, the 60s, I was still young enough to uh, enjoy and uh, uh, get into what was going on with the, uh, the pop music in the 60s. So. Uh, I love all kinds of music. Uh, I'm not sure if I can remember the first one that I did, but no, I, uh, I uh, you know, I probably 1965, 66. Uh, I was a guitar player by the name of Tommy Tedesco. That was probably the first record I did. Uh, that was put out commercially. I met George Benson a long time before I met him. I, I, uh, I went to see uh, Brother Jack McDuff somewhere around 1963, 64, maybe it was 65, uh, in San Francisco at the uh, Jazz Workshop. And uh, he was playing with, uh, with Jack McDuff. But I, I didn't even get his name because I don't, I don't think that, that uh, Jack said his name, but I knew he was an incredible uh, guitar player. But it was a bit later when he was uh, uh, signed to Verve, when I first uh, uh, got a sense of who George Benson was. And I didn't connect the two until a bit later when I realized that uh, he had played with Brother Jack uh, back in the, in the mid 60s. So I put that together, but it wasn't until, I didn't meet him until actually, I saw him in 1973 in San Francisco uh, at the Keystone Corner. It was the first time I had ever heard him sing, and I, I didn't realize he sang. Uh, and um, when we met in 76, that's the first thing I asked him, why he didn't sing on his records for And uh, he told me a few years later that the reason that he signed with me was because I had asked him the uh, golden question, you know, why, why did he sing more? So, so sometimes you say things you don't even realize. I, you know, it, it happened right basically just as we were working. I mean, I had some ideas. 
I had some song ideas. He was very open to all of to everything. And um, I had uh, Leon Russell was a friend of mine. Leon wrote this masquerade, and uh, but for some reason or other, I that the song Mask uh, this masquerade somewhere or other got by me, and I think it was the way Leon had done it on his album. It was on an album called Carney, and. Uh, it wasn't until I heard, uh, I, I signed David Sanborn, and uh, Sam, David Sanborn's demo was this masquerade. It was the first time I thought, boy, it's a strong song. What if I heard this song? And I realized it. And, you know, cut to the chase, we ended up, uh, uh, you know, I, I told George I thought it was something we should definitely do. And he agreed. And, uh, you know, it was an amazing time. Five out of the six things that were on that album, first takes. It has occurred to me that you know what it's said to see me. Second album, which right now is a, the, the, the title is Evading Me, and then uh, Look to the Rainbow, which was a live album that we did in Europe, and then uh, I didn't work with him again. I mean, we knew one another. I'm very close with his manager, Pat Rains, but not until, um, gee, toward uh, the end of my tenure at uh, Verb, that we did an album uh, again, which did absolutely nothing. I think it was one of the best albums he did. Exactly. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, don't see me. Now when I be trying to do right, maybe you're gonna see me down. Hi, this is Tommy Lakuma, and there's more music coming up on Aki Ia Jazz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 